James and the Coaches. James was a new engine on the island of Sodor. He had two small wheels in front and six driving wheels behind. They weren't as big as Gordon's and they weren't as small as Thomas's. James was enjoying his life on the island of Sodor, but he still had a lot to learn. You're a special mixed traffic engine, said the fat controller one day. You can pull coaches or trucks quite easily, but you must learn by your mistakes. James knew what the fat controller meant. He had been ill after that accident on his first day, but now he had new brakes and a shining coat of red paint. The red paint will cheer you up after your accident, said the fat controller kindly. You are to pull coaches today and Edward shall help you. The two engines went together to find the coaches. Be careful with the coaches, James, said Edward. They don't like being bumped. Everyone came to admire James. I'm a really splendid engine, he thought, and suddenly let off steam. Whee! A shower of water fell on the fat controller's nice new top hat. Just then, the guard blew his whistle, and James thought that they had better go. Go on, go on! He puffed to Edward. Don't push, don't push, replied Edward. The coaches were grumbling too. Don't go so fast, don't go so fast, they said. But James didn't listen. When at last they had stopped at the station, two coaches were beyond the platform and they had to go back to let the passengers out. Lots of people came to look at James and as no one seemed to know about the fat controller's top hat, James felt happier. Soon they came to the station where Thomas was waiting with his two coaches. Hello James, said Thomas. Are you feeling better? Oh, that's my guard's whistle. I must go. Sorry I can't stop. I don't know what the fat controller would do without me to run this branch line. And Thomas puffed off importantly. Edward and James ran past the field where James had had his accident. The fence was mended and the cows were back again. James whistled, but they paid no attention. They ended their journey and rested before setting off for home. James was still wondering what the fat controller would have to say about his top hat. The next morning, the fat controller spoke severely to him. If you can't behave, I shall take away your red coat and have you painted blue. James didn't like that at all and he was very rough with the coaches as he brought them to the platform. Don't talk, come along, he called to them. James was cross that he... James was cross that morning. The fat controller had spoken to him, the coaches had gone too slow, and worst of all, he had had to fetch his own coaches. Gordon never does, thought James, and he is only painted blue. A splendid red engine like me should never have to fetch his own coaches. To make James even more cross, this time, no one came to look at him and admire his smart new coat. I'll show them, he thought. They think Gordon is the only engine who can pull coaches. And as soon as the guard's whistle blew, he started off. Hurry, 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 puffed James. You're going too fast, you're going too fast replied the coaches, swaying from side to side. James laughed and tried to go faster, but the coaches wouldn't let him. We're going to stop! We're going to stop! They said, and James found himself going slower and slower. What's the matter? James asked his driver. The brakes are hard on, leaking the pipe most likely, said the driver. You've banged the coaches enough to make a leak in anything. The guard and the driver climbed down and looked at the brake pipes all along the train. How shall we mend it? asked the guard. We'll do it with, the, we'll do it with newspaper and a leather bootlace, replied the driver. Well, where is the bootlace going to come from? asked the guard. We haven't one. Ask the passengers, said the driver. So the guard made everyone step down from the train. You have a leather bootlace there, I see, sir, he said to a smartly dressed man. Please give it to me. I won't, said the man. 
Then, said the guard, I'm afraid the train will just have to stop where it is. The passengers all said what a bad railway it was. Then they told the man how bad he was. Everyone was very cross. At last, the man handed over his bootlace. The, the driver tied a pad of newspaper tightly round the hole in the brake pipe and James was able to pull the train. But he was a sadder and wiser James and took care never to bump coaches again.